As people line up for third Pfizer shots, could there be a similar booster for Johnson & Johnson? Today, the company announced data that supports a booster for the one-dose vaccine and says the extra shot increases antibodies by ninefold. But that doesn't mean JJ recipients can start lining up for boosters quite yet. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kay Quinn. Johnson & Johnson is now working with the FDA and other agencies to decide how to proceed. Sarah Maki sat down with one of the local researchers about what this announcement means. Sarah? When health leaders announced some Pfizer recipients could benefit from a third shot, a lot of Moderna and J&J &J recipients probably wondered, well, what about us? Well, one researcher told us this announcement is likely an attempt to be transparent, to tell people where the science stands right now. The last patient of the day at this North County vaccine clinic, Sahid Aziz rolls up his sleeve, ready for his shot. He's chosen the single dose Johnson & Johnson variety because it's one and done. Of my schedule. I know I don't really have like a sure schedule to come back and make sure I get the other shot, so I do the best I can. How are you? I'm okay. It's been kind of a crazy morning. But I'm sure. Is that because of all of the, the big announcement, I guess? The, yeah, the J and J announcement, yeah. Dr. Rachel Presti says she got a heads up from Johnson & Johnson before their announcement since she heads up one of their local trials, though not the one that led to the press release. She thinks that the company announced its findings to be transparent both with patients and the public at large. It was useful to actually put out this information so that people who got the J&J &J vaccine aren't left thinking, well, what do I do at eight months after I get vaccinated? Presti says the J&J &J data shows that recipients had strong and stable immunity eight months after the vaccine, but a booster then results in antibodies nine times higher than the first dose. Despite the news, Presti cautions the booster isn't available yet. Please be patient um, as the FDA and the CDC works through the data. Um, I know it sounds like they've already recommended a booster vaccine, but we really haven't gotten that recommendation yet. If and when it is approved, Z says he will come back. For a booster. I think it's important too because it also helps for any later um, changes in the virus so it'll help keep you updated with your immune system so it can help fight it. Presti says that scientists will continue to look at the vaccines and fine tune their administration. She says local trials continue as well. Right now, they're looking for people 18 to 29 for one of their Moderna studies. Reporting tonight, Sarah Maki 5 on your side. Thank you, Sarah. Moderna says it's completed the application process to the FDA for full approval of its COVID vaccine. The process has been ongoing for months. Moderna's phase three study found the vaccine had a 93% efficacy rate through six months. Based on Pfizer's application timeline, a decision from the FDA might be expected by November. Approval would be for anyone 18 and older.